Hello and welcome. Yet again, we have the kit to look into the box under the lid of, um, and the final one of the ones I brought from the Millionaire Museum on my visit uh, on the second of January, first second January, second January of twenty twenty three, first aviation trip of the year. Now this one I opened an ad about because I know Hello actually re-released this one. Um, well, I thought they'd only re-release the Super. Uh, I only planned to re-release the Super Connie this year. You know, the compilation was the Connie. Um, or is the Connie? Um, uh, I looked it up and I could find the Super Connie stuff and I was like, okay, fine, that's cool. But they are actually apparently re-releasing this one as well. These aren't re new tools, so I've not entirely shot myself in the foot. <laughs> I think I've got a great deal on this one. Um, it was produced on the shelf, produced for $29.99. Um, you look at the price of, like, say, a Lancaster these days. Um, brand new one from Airfix, you're looking at 49 quid, straight up. So, not a bad, not a bad thing. And that's just comparable four engine World War II era aircraft that Connie was initially came out in the Second War. And that's going to be relevant later. Um, so, you see, Heller is made in France, a product of, of France. Uh, well, it's made, isn't it? Fabrique. Fabrique here in France. Um, yeah, this aircraft is bigger than a Lancaster, <laughs> just a bit. So you know, a bit of a bit of a comparison, a bit of a normal comparison as well. But anyway, um, so yes, the the kit isn't new. The ones they're re-releasing this year aren't new kits. They are um, they've basically gone back. They've had the motor professionally repaired and re-renewed, refreshed, so you could should lose all that horrible warping and. Um, Flash and everything, you can check out the Hella video on your YouTube channel, tell us all about it. So basically, you see this one is mostly grey. If you see a pure yellow with the picture with the painting still and everything else, you get this bit. But where it's grey, if it's yellow, then you know it's one of those ones that's either a brand new mould or it's been refreshed. So you should be getting, in their words, they reckon you should be getting a proper prop quality kit. So this one might prove a, a, a good. Um, Comparison to to the Super Connie, I will be getting the Super Connie as well. I, I adore this aircraft as a type. I think it is one of the most beautiful airplanes ever created. So, um, as you can see, still in cellophane. So yes, on the side. Oops, sorry. This is the biggest box I've had to do yet. <laughs> on the side, we've got the 105 pieces. The ends are very much the same. Oh wow, there's going to be a little bit of that. Just an issue while I got the box, but hopefully not much. And on the back, you get a fantastic bit of information about it. I don't think I can bring that up. There we, oh, there it is. There we are. I'll do that. Okay. So you can pause that. Then you get the dimensions of the aeroplane. So there, if you look at the 521 millimeters, they're half a meter long uh, and 40 centimeters wide. Uh, Lancaster. Is roughly about 30 centimetres long, so we've got another extra 20 centimetres in length on this thing. Um, so, yeah. You've got the basic safety warning thing. Okay. Not being, not being for kids, so I should probably take it back, really, then, aren't I? <laughs> and as you can see, 105 pieces. So let's just slice this open, get in there, and get it all opened up. Now, personally, I want to do this after the Lancaster, but as I said earlier, oh, I said earlier, I can't say earlier because I recorded earlier this, you'll see this in uh, a week, no, two weeks on for when I recorded it. So, um, I'll have to remember to schedule the, uh, not do mail for the video, but basically just do these parts of the video. Um, get rid of that. Um, so we'll see how things are going with other other projects by then. Oh, that's an interesting top box. Just notice it's got Nipsey inside here. Okay. Ah, so we've got a flap. I'll show you this. We've got a flap we open at the bottom. I've not come across that before. That is very intriguing. Oh my lord, it's huge. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that on the box of this bit of how to. Okay, so let's look at the parts. Well, the fuselage is not in a bag. It's, I think, 
<laughs> oh my. I hope those are wingtips. I really hope those are wingtips. Maybe? I have no idea what those are. We'll find out. Definitely control services of some sort, aren't they? Because they're never the tail. But yes, yeah, so there's the the constellation. Remember the supercon is bigger. <laughs> That'd be what this is missing for. So there's some there's some flash in some places actually. Is there, is there? Is that just my eyes missing it? No, it doesn't appear to be. It looks quite nice and current this one. Maybe they didn't maybe they didn't use the mould as much for the well there is a bit of flash there on the tail. But uh, maybe they didn't um, use this mould as much as the Super Connie's, I don't know. Or would it have been a separate one? you got the Hella name in, inside the Fusile Shark on the top bit there. I don't really think there's much interior as the flight deck, I don't think there's much interior to this, but you're not going to see an awful lot, uh, given that that's your viewpoint and half that's covered over. So yeah, big center. That's one of these I built, so I'd love to have someone in uh, 1, to 1, 1, 1. 44 scale. Um, and it was, that was big enough really. <laughs> so we do get a bag of parts. So I'll pop to one side and we'll kind of look at these loose pieces and we'll come back to that bag of parts. Yeah, so it's my wingtips because we get the the bottom half of the wing. That's what's nice for strength. I mean, I could put my stand straight through that bit as well. <laughs> um, Obviously, being a tricycle under carriage, I do my tricycle under carriage aircraft where possible in flight. Um, yeah, that's um, big old wing there. For comparison, I can, I can give you a comparison here. Here's a Lancaster's wing. If we take it from the same point, the centre there. You can see, yeah, this is a big aeroplane. Okay. In fact, we could do that for the body. We could do that for the body as well. Let's just do that for the body. Especially given that the um, constellation does not have a have its nose cone yet. But yeah, there's the there's comparison with the, the body. If you want it the same way up, and there's an update on the Lancaster at the same time. But yeah, there we are. Easiest way to actually put that in, in the box again because there we are, you can see it now. So, yes, a bit of a bit of a bitter, a bit of a bigger aeroplane, just a bit. So, yes, that's so these are clearly underside parts to the they, they'll end up like that. Huge, huge! That's the upper wing upper surfaces. Again, there's some spur attachment points there. Look, they've broken free of their. Yeah, it's broken free of its mounting. No, it never was on it. That's. I hope they cut those off professionally rather than just ripping them off. Um, that could be a bit disastrous if you were not. Um, if, it, if, it, if it didn't come away clearly and cleanly and it took chunks the wing out, but it looks like I got lucky here. Um, and that's the tail, huge tail on this. Yeah, there's no interior that I can see. So yes, let's get that uh, pop this, this screw to one side. Again, there is some flash, but it's very minimal. What I'm seeing is very, very minimal. Um, open this up. So, we've got quite a few bits in here together. But nothing has escaped the sprue on this bit, so that's good. First up, we have got the transparencies. Yeah, they don't look too bad. They're a little bit goldfish bowly, aren't they? On um, those windows here. And, you know, a bit distorted, the view from them. But given that the it's, there is no interior to the aeroplane, that's hardly hardly an issue, really. 
Um, yeah, I'll probably just spray the inside black or something just to see anything so it's just so it's dark inside. Okay, what do we have next? We have this screw. Are these identical? They look identical. That's good. So we've got gear, uh, bay door, bay door. So unlike the Seahawk that we looked at last week, um, you can do the undercart close this, it seems. There's those wheels here, the engines, or the engine cowlings. Um, and presumably those are representations of the engines, but if that's all you can see, that's all you can see, because the propeller does fill up quite a large proportion of the, of the intake, so it's not needed necessarily. No crew that I can see, unless I missed it on another sprue. Oh no, I think I've spot one, maybe I've spot one under there. So yeah, possible crew, that would be good, because again, obviously it's going to be a flight. Now I won't be motorising the propeller or anything, so you'll have the static props, but you know, I still think it will look better for it. And I don't know about nose weight. There is an awful lot of room to put nose weight in this, in the front. You could do it. Oh, something has escaped, an Astrodome has escaped the uh, sprue there. The other one again, everything looks very clean, there's very little flash there at all, which is really nice. Okay, so here we are. So, very nice A4 booklet uh, through the destruction sheet. Picture of the aeroplane there, the product number if you're interested. All your information. So, again, if you wanted to pause that and I'm going to get it so you can see it without hitting the camera. You can read it. And Anthony, if you want to read it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. There's your paint call outs for essential paints. And there's the stage one, two is building all four engines. And then we move on to the interior. Very simple. Uh, the 30 blue, 3 gloss black, so there's lots of black inside the cockpit, so that's nice and easy. Building the nose wheel, which I don't need to do. So I can skip to stage 5 and 6, which is assembling the tail. Stage 7 is the main undercar, again I can skip. And then it's bringing it all together with the windows inside. And then quite a simple construction really. And it's the tail, the, the, the bringing it all together basically again there with the wings. And then the, that's an interesting way of doing it, engines onto the wings. It's a very thick booklet. For, there's your construction complete. <laughs> um, another piece down here, which I'm not sure what that's all about there. Let's finish down. Yeah. Like the dihedral, dihedral diagram for the 45. Yeah, it's these antennas, it's telling you how to place the antennas. So there's option A, which is an Air, Fr Air France one. F, B, A, Z, T. Tells you a way to do the transfers, cutting them up to get them fit. Oh wow, we've got a lot of note pages. <laughs> and then there's a Trans World Airlines constellation NC91209. Uh, this would be the scheme a lot of people would vote for. Uh, Gary, I know you, you are a big fan of constellations in Trans World Airlines delivery. As they were intended to be the first customers, but they weren't because the US Army Air Force got in the way. <laughs> Second War got in the way of even stuff here. That flying transfers, and here they are. So, I think there's something to go in the cockpit there or something like that. That was good. So, I'm actually not going to be using, I don't believe, any of these. <laughs> I don't think there's any stencils there. That's there, maybe that's an instrument panel. So how can this come with one? 
<laughs> Other things I don't talk about. Oh well. So there we are. They looked to be in good register. They're a little bit sick feeling, but they. Oh, there's actually holes for the where the windows are. That's kind of nice. But yeah, they should go down nicely still. Um, there's no name I can see on them. Just seem to be in house made. But yeah. That looks good, that looks good. I'm not disappointed at all. I, it looks a very nice kit. The, the moulding is so much better than I thought it was going to be. When I saw they're re-releasing this, as well as the Super Constellation, I will admit that I was a bit sort of, oh, I was like, what have I done? You know, this is going to be a uh, flash city, isn't it? You know, a real nightmare. But um, I've got to be honest, I am pleasantly surprised. Um, so check this here, there's a bit of flash there again, and spur attachment points at the seeing the in places where, because that's obviously come free, or they've taken that one off as well. Um, that's. They're all in place to me, I'm not going to see it anyway, so that's fine. Um, now, as for markings. I'm going to be doing one of the troop transport versions, the C69, um, with, with this from the Second World War. Uh, and even my Super Constellation won't be an airliner version. Um, there will be a. That will be a. Uh, a special one. But it's, it's another military one. Uh, Hi, Bon Hogg will know. Don't put, it, don't put it in the comment, Dale. <laughs> we'll wait till the transfers arrive and I'll record that video. Um, and if this one, depending on when they get here, because we've got postal strikes and all sorts going on at the minute here in the UK, um, which I fully support, by the way, because, <laughs> uh, you know, you've got to make a stand against government and when enough's enough. We've fought war to have the right to do this. So uh, let's make use of it for the right reasons, which they are. So, uh, but that does mean there's a slight delay in uh, stuff getting out or getting to us. Uh, the, the stuff was posted yesterday from Hannans, and uh, yes, I look forward to receiving it shortly. I do like that with a bit of sprue to protect in the aerial there. So that's, that's, quite, that's quite nice there. Um, yeah, the plastic feels nice as well. Nice quality. Though I can't see that crewman. Um, I'm not sure you're actually going to see it when it's in, in, in the in the aircraft either. So um, yeah, I might get I might get away with not putting any in there. In there. But uh, yeah, so that's basically the the uh, the Lockheed Constellation from Hella, um, and also the big reveal on on the on the Super Constellation delivery. That I did. Oh, well, just for sake of argument. I did actually want to originally do this one as a BOAC one, uh, but cannot find anywhere for sale the BOAC transfers. If anyone has a set they don't want anymore, else it's going to be sent to and for the consolation uh, regular, then I'm happy to, to get in contact. We can discuss uh, acquiring them. Um, I, and I will continue to look around for them and ask about, see if anyone's got them, got them anywhere. So potentially this could be a BOAC one, uh, a regular airliner, but uh, yes, as things have changed up and I've really, um, I really do agree with the person that told me oh, I've got a lot of kits and you're finishing. <laughs> well, you know who you are. <laughs> Name you then tell you know who you are. Um, then I'm going to put this to one side a bit longer than I was originally going to. Because it's there, and it's going to be ready to build. The Super Connie is, no argument, definitely going to be a military one. Be be just because I cannot resist being having the opportunity to put the scheme on it that I have. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's basically all that. If you suppose just get darker in here, are my... Um, main lights on the timer. <laughs> um, but this, oh, it's, it's, it's wirelessly controlled um, and I, I've got two modes turning it on. I can have it on an automatic system which is on most of the time. Where it'll go off at a particular time of day, come on a particular time of day, go on, you know, that sort of thing. Or I've got a mode where if it's already off, uh, 
which was when I first came back. I can tell it's turn on for two hours or something like that, and it will go automatically off again. Basically, got to the end of the time. So just in time for the end of this video. Um, yeah, but I like it. Box is a little bit weak maybe because of this, but it's quite sturdy around this bit, so it might make up for that. But yeah, I recommend it. I, I think already, I think already re recommend this. If you get it for a decent price, you know, or wait for the, um, the, the, the full yellow box one. All right, so take care, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the mail call video for one well, of the mail call videos, such as both anymore. Into the into the look at the uh, transfer sets for this, potentially for this, unless the, I find the BOAC ones and the Super Connie. So it'll be a big reveal in that one anyway for what the Super Connie Super is going to be. All right. Till then, bye for now.